The wild beast stands here, waiting for my move. But I shall not move. For if I move, I know that I will truly be done for. <laughs> Yo, what's going on everybody? It is your boy, Colin, from Cat Creations, back again today with a new series for you guys. I know that I'm uploading this on a Friday, but usually these will go up every Thursday, but you probably want to know what it is. Well, this series is going to be called Net, N-E-T, slash Flicks, F-L-I-C-K-S, of the week. So, Netflix of the week. Now, what Netflix of the week is, is every week I'm going to take three movies that you may have never heard of from Netflix and recommend them to you guys, give you a little bit of a background about each of them, and uh, hopefully, and you know, most everyone has Netflix nowadays that is, has a stable income and stuff like that, so maybe I'll be able to introduce you to some new movies that you are very fond of. So, without putting it off any longer, let's get straight into it. Number one. He Never Died. Now, He Never Died is a movie that came out last year that flew really under the radar. And I don't know why. This movie currently has an 86% on Rotten Tomatoes. It stars one of the biggest badasses in the whole world, Henry Rollins. Absolutely love the guy. This movie is a, it's very hard R, just letting you know. So I'd probably, like, if you're not into blood and gore and all that stuff, do not watch the movie, obviously, but it's fantastic. The acting is very subtle, but it's, it's, it's beautiful nonetheless. It takes a very different take on a genre that's been overused a lot and makes it like 50 times better. I'm not gonna give away what genre it is and I'm not gonna give away too much about the movie simply due to the fact that I, the better, it's better you go into this without watching any of the trailers or knowing really anything about the movie. But Henry L. Rollins is the main character. This main call, the, the title is He Never Died. You can take how, whatever you want from that. Uh, it's shot beautifully. It's so dark and like, ah, oh, just grim and like rugged, just like Henry Rollins is. So overall, this movie, fantastic. Um, I think I gave it an 8.5 or an 8 out of 10. I loved it so much when I saw it. I was really sick when I saw it, and it definitely cheered me up. So if you want to just go see a good, underrated, thriller, drama-type movie, I guess there are aspects of horror in there too, but not too, like, jump-scare-type stuff. Not at all. So if you want to, go check it out, or let's go into the next movie. Number two. Frequencies. Frequencies is a British sci-fi fantasy romance. Boom. I just threw all out, out all of these amazing aspects out there for you. Yeah, I know that's got to be good night, right? Bye now. Although it only has eight votes on um, Rotten Tomatoes, it does have 100%. Don't take that with a grain of salt, though, considering the minimalistic reviews on there. But I loved this movie. I thought it was great. It was overambitious. That's very true, and some of the stuff didn't add up, but I thought it was so good. Like, I don't know how to describe it. It just has a very magical vibe about it. You know, you know those movies where you just, you just get that, like, vibe that you're actually caught up in the world and you, like, start planning out, thinking out, like, what would happen in, in like an alternate universe, but basically, Frequencies is about a guy and a gal. The gal, this is the world where freak, uh, the higher your frequency, the more successful you'll be in life, and like, the smarter you are basically, and then the lower vice versa. Um, and this girl with super high frequency, and this guy with super low frequency, and it's kind of a, it's kind of a love story, but there's also things going on behind the scenes. Check it out, man. It's definitely a really good date night movie, but even if you're not having a date night, it's just a good, solid movie overall. I would highly recommend it. I give it an eight out of 10. Um, I would compare it with He Never Died, but that's really two different genres that you can't really compare. So 
Moving on to the next movie. Number three. We need to talk about Kevin. Now this one is probably more well known uh, throughout this uh, world of cinema. Released in 2011 based off of the 2003 novel uh, by Lionel Shriver. We need to talk about Kevin is um, spectacular. It is spectacular in every single way. The acting is fantastic by Tilda Swinton. You take John C. Riley serious, which is a very hard feat to do, and this features Ezra Miller as a, as a fetus, not actually a fetus, but he's, he's much younger, and it shows off how great of an, a talent that he is. I don't know what to say about this movie. The whole movie is about um, Tilda Swinton and John C. Riley have a child, and Tilda Swinton before was kind of like a free bird, and now she has to deal with this kid that she had. But the only problem is the kid doesn't seem to take a liking to her, and things just spiral downhill from there. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, the critics are kind of not very as agreeing with me on this one, uh, as it has a 76% on Rotten Tomatoes, I believe. Something along those lines. Um, but definitely check this out if you're, in the, if you're in the mood to be genuinely disturbed. This movie is fantastic. I love it. I know I say fantastic a lot, but hey, what are you going to do? If I had to give it a rating, definitely 9 out of 10. This is probably the best movie out of all three that we talked about so far. So definitely check it out. So that's about it. Um, guys, that is all I have for you today. Those are the three movies for your first Netflix of the week. If you guys like this, um, and you want me to keep doing it, leave a like on the video. Let me know if I can improve on anything besides being weird. Um, but yeah, so go check those out on Netflix next week, Thursday, not Friday, because we'll, we'll have our schedule announcement later this weekend. But next week, Thursday, I'll be right back at you with another three movies that you didn't know you needed in your life, but you actually did. Uh, Ray for now, that is me from Cab Creations, Colin, signing out. And just remember to be safe and always take a cab 